Pinellas Safe Harbor is an emergency homeless shelter. The Public Defender's Office in Pinellas County have um, conceptualized this internship program and contacted St. Pete College to partner with them. Pinellas Safe Harbor through the internship program provides students the opportunity to help be a part of the solution. Our internship program affects the residents at Safe Harbor more than I can ever begin to describe. It's different for every resident because what we offer is different for every person. It's made up individually for that resident suited to their needs in order to help them move forward with their lives and make positive decisions. We give them resources that they, they need and I've been told by several people that it has helped them you know, reach out to people in ways they may not have before. Um, it, it comforts them and it lets them know that we're there for their support. So our first semester, um, I had six psychology interns that went there. And in the three years that we've been there, we've really developed the program and we've had about 90 different psychology interns work through the Safe Harbor program. Well, you walk in to Safe Harbor, you do the normal sign-in procedures and you'll go into uh, pods with the residents and sit down and just talk about how the week's been going, how they're doing, are they finding jobs okay, are they getting around all right, how are they feeling, and then you'll get to your listening group. The listening groups have, they become really popular. They have about six to eight residents at each group, and so that group of residents really learns how to provide each other with a milieu of support. An example is that one resident needed um, money for a bus pass and another resident, also living in homelessness, gave that resident money and that happens. Stories like that happen regularly because when there's a supportive environment, people grow and change in beautiful ways and that's what we're trying to cultivate at Safe Harbor. Even just um, being a resource for them to open up to and, and get whatever they're feeling off their chest. I enjoy being there. I love being able to see my residents, seeing how they're doing, um, getting to know new residents and, and being there for them. A question I'm commonly asked is, how do you find these students? Because they're so civically engaged and civically minded. And what we do is share that the psychology internship is a possibility. You have to meet certain academic requirements. We know all of that. You have to have certain coursework. We got all that. Um, and then the idea is that we really look for people who want to make a difference. I really, really love to hear when residents leave, but it's also a little bittersweet to me because I'll miss them. But it, it's a great feeling um, to see someone who was struggling to bit by bit get their life back together. That place has such a hold on you as a person. You can't go into that place and see these people every day, five days a week, and hear about their lives and their stories. and and then just walk away and stop caring and stop listening and stop wanting to hear how they are and stop helping them, you can't do that. You're not doing it for credits, you're doing it to help people. When you're living in homelessness, um, sometimes you're treated a little bit as invisible. The rest of society just wants to push them under the shadows and just kind of push them aside. And we're not trying to do that, we're trying to bring them out into the light and help them move forward. So we're all people and we all matter. Um, we're all in this world together as citizens in a community together. We're there for one reason. The residents, number one. Just the residents. Each and every one of those residents to try to do whatever we can to help them know how much they matter.